Hello everyone and welcome to another Starman Animaniacs. I'm Devin with me is Cody. Hey everybody. Yeah, and we're finishing off the last of our spooktacular Halloween Animaniacs series uh School Live. Yeah. With episodes 10, 11, 12. Yeah. And Cody, your thoughts and opinions, because I think you have a few. <laughs> I hate you, Devin! <laughs> I want to point out that Cody picked this out of the list I gave him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Before we go any further with that statement. I know! So, you have no one really to blame but yourself. I liked it. I love this anime, but the last three episodes are an emotional roller coaster you have to strap in for. Yeah, um. Ugh. So, we'll start with episode 10. Yeah. So this is kind of where the shit gets bad episode. Yeah. <laughs> Everything hits the fan on this one. Oh, yeah. It does. Yeah. So, want to start us off with our first event? Everybody wakes up and notices Tremor is missing. Yes. So, previous episode, we know Tremor went off on his own. And found Zombie Megami. And we kind of stopped that episode there to come to this episode where when Drummer is missing, the next big thing is that it's raining. Now you might be like, well, that's not really significant, but we found out that the zombies tend to go inside when it rains. Yeah. Thus, we have more zombies in the school than we normally do. Yeah. That's a problem. And I believe they start a search for Tarumaru. Yep. So Yuki and Mikun will explore the upstairs area where they're safe. And Kurumi is going to go off into the basement or lower areas. Yeah. Where there's more zombies. Now, yeah. another thing to keep in mind is why rain is so significant is the exact thing happened and that's how they lost Megumi. Yeah. Was it started to rain and the zombies overwhelmed them. Yeah. So, Ray cautions Karumi. He's like, remember, this is how Megami died. So, yeah. I'll be careful. And she was, but this is where letting your emotions get the better of you might be your yeah. downfall. Yeah. Gets to the basement. Finds zombie Taromaru. Yeah! Hmm. Yeah. And can't bring herself to really put him out of his misery. So she sends him off and then runs away. Yeah, locks him in a room. Yeah, basically just lures him into a room, locks it, and it's like, well, I can't kill you, but you can't hurt me. Yep. Here's a growling. He's like, oh, you're the one who turned him. I'm gonna kill ya! Yeah. Wants to take her anger out on the thing that hurt Taromaru. Uh, unfortunately, that thing happened to be a mega me. Yeah. It's like, oh, God! I'm gonna kill you! Emotional moment stopping and. Yeah, this is where, like, she couldn't bring herself because of those memories of mega me she had. She's like, I can't bash when it was essentially my teacher. Yeah. Should have. Yeah. She ends up bit, makes it back to the classroom. And they try to give her the best first aid they can with the meager supplies they have. Yeah. And then we get some backstory as to a promise Ray made to Kurumi. Mm -hmm. Which is, if I ever start turning, kill me. <laughs> That's what happened to Kurumi. Yeah. I, I've been bit. Kill me. Yeah. And so there's that sh storm already. Yeah. Um, we're still worried about Taromaru, and this is also where Yuki starts kind of bringing things together. Yeah. Her mental blocks are breaking. <laughs> yeah. Because she's like, wow, the rain's cold. Wait, this window's broken. <laughs> and then also just seeing, like, a ninja Kurumi also breaks through that. Yeah. And a 
trying to remember how this episode ended off. It's more or less, um... We know the zombies get in, and they're upstairs. Oh yeah, they break through. Yeah, they're okay. through all our barricades, and they're now even in the safe areas. Yeah, because, um, Ray's in with Kurumi. Yeah. And... Mikun and Yuki are in one room, and yeah. Ray and Kurumi are in another. Yeah. And that's where that episode went. Yeah. Off. Episode 11 continues on pretty much where we left off. Yeah. And we're again reminded of the promise Ray made and yeah. the struggle that she has to deal with right now. It's like, I have to kill my friend yeah. because I promised her, but I can't kill my friend because we're so close. Yeah. And, like, and in the next room, like, Mikun starts gearing up. Yes. Mikun read through the manual again and found out that there's an antidote to the zombieism. Yeah. If it's in stage one form. Yeah. So Mikun's like, I can go on a rescue mission to get that to save Kurumi. Mm -hmm. Probably can't save anyone else, but at least we can save someone. Mm -hmm. But... Ray's like, well, it's too dangerous. It's in the lower area where Karumi got injured. And Miku makes a valid point. Well, she got injured because she let her guard down around Zombie Megami. I don't have that kind of connection, so I don't think I will fall for her. <laughs> and, then I, and when she said that, I'm like, but there's still Zombie Karumaru. Yeah, I was like, wow, but what about the dog? You had a connection with that dog. Yeah. And that's down there now. Yeah. <laughs> so, runs off, um, runs into Megan A. Yeah, we're going to follow Miku's story, because yeah. this is where it jumps all over the place to yeah. follow different people's stories. Yeah. Which is fine, but I don't like when it's jumping this much. Yeah, because it's confusing. It, it gets well. confusing. But for the sake of our viewers, we'll keep it on one person at a time. Yeah. Like, runs into Megan A. Yeah. Megan A grabs her leg. Yeah. So, Miku starts giving some farewell words to Megan A. Like, hey, yeah, you, is, yeah, right. because of everything you've done, we're safe. You can rest in peace now. Yeah. And then, Zombie Megan A finally figures out, hey, I can go underneath this thing. <laughs> And grabs Mikun's leg, and then that's where she brings the shovel down on Megan's head. Bye, Megan. And that's it. Then she manages to get to the medical supplies in that room. And she found the antidote. And that's where the antidote is. So mission successful, I guess. Because apparently, at the same time she kills Megami, the power goes into emergency alert mode. Oh yeah, because um, the uh. Transformers blew up. Yeah. So during the storm and the zombie invasion, zombies got to the roof and got hit by lightning. And sent the tower right into the power. Supply. Generators. Yeah, so we no longer have power. Yeah. Also, there's a lot of fires. Yeah. So our little shelter is going away. Yep. Yeah. Which, I tell everyone in a zombie apocalypse, it's like, your shelter isn't going to last forever. Yeah. You Eventually, should, you will have to leave. Yeah. You should always have an evacuation plan. Yeah. So, she does get surrounded. Yeah. So, because of the noise made in the lower areas, the zombies flock into the basement and kind of trap Mikun down there. And are breaking into the room she's in. Eventually she has to climb onto a shelving unit to stay safe. Yeah. But obviously that's not going to last forever. Yeah. And that's where we'll leave Miku. Yeah. And yeah, Ray. Karumi and Ray, because this is kind yeah. of a duo. Karumi is really out of the picture. All she's contributing right now screams. Is, is screams and pain. Yeah. Which it would be hell 
<laughs> yes. If you had had to listen to your friend just in agony, mm-hmm. and you know the best way to get them out of that agony would be to end them. And she goes to do it. Yep, she has a knife it with her. Raises it. And then we hear a shunk sound. Which, originally, we thought the door opened. I thought the door opened. I forget how the anime went at this point. Yeah. So. I was thinking, oh, God, Yuki walked in. Yeah, I was thinking that Yuki walked in because Mikun left Yuki alone. Yeah, and then we pan back and, no. She just dropped the knife. Yeah. Like, I can't do it. Yeah. She admits that she isn't strong enough to compete uh, complete that promise. Yeah. Now Yuki, because Yuki kind of takes up the tail end of this episode. Yeah. And this is still the second episode. Yes. Okay. So yeah, y- Yuki leaves the room. Yeah. So Yuki is now kind of pieced together. Zombies are now a thing. Everyone's in danger. And if I sit around trying to play in my little pretend world, everyone is going to die. Yeah, so... Gets off her rear end. Grabs a backpack. And a bat. Yeah, and takes off. Yeah. This is where um, her illusion of Megumi guides her to the broadcast room. Yeah, I and I like to think that this is her brain's version of like her smart brain. It's like, hey, here's how you're gonna save everyone. For like you said, her mega brain. Yeah, her mega brain activated. So it has her final goodbye. Yep. And runs to the broadcast room. Yep. All the while remembering scenes of how she was helping set up against the zombie invasion. And that she blamed herself for being useless and clumsy. And Megami's like, well, you offer something that no one else can. A smile! Which, like, you brighten everyone's day and you do that freely. Yeah. Don't ever stop doing that. Yeah. Which is good and bad advice. This is actually what led her to make those mental blocks. Oh, yeah. If you didn't clue in. <laughs> Keep cheering everybody up. Yeah. You can't be sad right now. Everyone needs you to... You have to be the happy person. So Mega Man kind of cost it. Kind of, but not intentionally. Yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah. She um, put a lot of stress on herself to be happy, and that's why her brain went to everything's fine and happy. Yeah. Eventually, we get to the broadcast room. We're going to skip a bit. Yeah. And we basically get a farewell. We kind of piece this together throughout the anime Mm -hmm. that zombies do have a bit of a consciousness to them. Mm -hmm. Or at least they remember their routines. Yeah. So Yuki's like, the school day has ended. Yeah. Go home, everyone. The school day is over. Go home, damn it. (laughs) Yeah. Get out of my school! Yeah. A little nicer than what Cody just put, oh, but yeah. there is a message here. Yeah. And that message is, from what I gather, is, is that it's fine to be happy, go places where you're happy, but understand that you do have to leave your happy places and go back to reality. Yeah. So it's like, I'm going to leave during my nap. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, it's the it's time to wake up. And so, yeah. And then zombies leave. Yeah, surprisingly, all the zombies leave. Yeah. And this saves Mikun, who now gets the medicine back up to Kurumi, mm-hmm. and that's kind of where we leave off. Yeah. Also, yes, before we totally forget, Tomaru also got free when Miku went downstairs. Yeah. And had made his way upstairs and actually helped Yuki to fend off some zombies while still in zombie form. Yeah, and um, Yuki was able to manage to catch him in her hat and lock him into a locker. Yeah. And, yeah, next episode is, like, uh, Rumi's Cured. Yeah. 
So we see the injection needle. We see Karumi just laying there. Everyone's tired of it. And then Karumi wakes up first. Or Yuki's awake. Karumi wakes up. And then Yuki gets excited. Makes a noise that wakes everyone up. And everybody has an eyes up. Yeah. Then we cut over to Taromaru. <laughs> and here's spoilers if you don't want this emotional roller coaster. I re- I love what they did with Taromaru. Oh, I hate you. But at the same time, it's, oh. oh, it's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Taromaru doesn't make it. We're not going to sugarcoat that. No. But the way they do it is like, ah, oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, they make it look like he's going to be fine. Yeah. So we gave him the injection. He looks back to normal. He's a little weakened, so we give mm-hmm. him some food and water. Yeah, and then he looks up at me, too. Yeah. All he's, smiles. He was one last noise, and then we cut to him just dead on our lap. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt you for the joke you made you sure okay at this time i went bleh, bleh. <laughs> and i was i totally forgot that's actually what happens and then cue to that and <laughs> even i had my mouth open i was like i was joking <laughs> i was like damn it you bastard Oh, then you were like, I was joking! The worst part is, is I bet you if I went back two years when I first watched this, I made the same damn joke. Probably! (laughs) And also felt really bad for making the same damn joke. Yeah, that got me. I... Yeah, that's... That's a rough one. That's one last punch in the stomach before we end the episode. Yeah, everybody broke down. Yep. Then Yuki gives one more sage advice to Mikun. Because yeah. Mikun's like, I don't think Taromaru want me to be sad when I say goodbye to him. He doesn't care. No, she's uh-huh. like, I don't think he'd mind. Yeah. You have, you're allowed to be sad. Yeah. And then she does. Yeah. And then pretty much halfway through the episode, we're doing a graduation because we're kind of decided we can't stay here. There's no more food, water, or electricity. Yeah. We're, we, it's not survivable. Yeah. And it turns out Megane left the map. Yeah. Megane left a few places circled on a map that you could go to. Which is kind of funny if you count on to what they were. A college. Yeah. And a biz office? Business office. Yeah. yeah. So... Fear, like in comedy's sake of what do you do after school? Do you go to college or do you go right into business? God dang it. <laughs> Don't make jokes, anime. You just killed the dog. <laughs> You're not longer allowed to make jokes anymore, says Cody. <laughs> so, yeah, they had to go through their whole graduation ceremony. Yep. All touching, heart feeling. Um, heart. <laughs> Warming, Warming, I guess. That's the word. Yeah. (laughs) Look how we're just... Cody's like, no, I'm sad by the dog. I don't care about the graduation now. Yeah. Cody's still over at the dog grave grieving. Give him a moment, guys. (laughs) Yeah, uh, that one, um... Yeah. Yeah. So I'll take it from here. Yeah. So... We're pretty much at the end. We get into the car and head off. We have a few... Um, add-ons that don't really pertain to the anime as much as they set up for the manga. Mm-hmm. I f- really feel like they were trying to go for a second season for this, but didn't get it. Yeah. Or maybe we're waiting and hopefully down the line we'll get one. It's possible. It does take time. It does take time. I am How hopeful for a season this? two. How long ago was this cruise? I don't remember. That's okay. the problem. But it does feel like it's a bit of an older one, so I think it might have sailed. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah. Anyway, the two things to take in mind is that we found out why Taromaru went down into the basements to start with. There is a second dog down there, and Taromaru was checking to make sure the second dog was still alive. And we see at the end a new dog kind of at the grave of... Tremoru. 
Wish he'd waited yeah. and found it. Yes, but I think they'll meet up with it later. Oh, okay. If I, I kind of glanced a little bit at the rest of the manga and kind of get see where all that storyline went. Mm-hmm. And the other thing is those letters we sent in episode, I think, five or six, mm-hmm. um, someone finds one. Someone's still alive! So people are still alive, and this sets up because I do believe they get a fifth member. Cool. But with that, though, the anime itself ends here. Yeah. And at the time of this recording, there is no more episodes. Yeah. So, final thoughts on this whole series. Roller coaster. It is a roller coaster. I hated the end of the roller coaster. <laughs> Yeah. I'm glad I'm glad they lived. Why didn't you let the dog live, huh? Because then you wouldn't have the emotional roller coaster. I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this anime I also want to credit the musical score when Yuki yeah. is remembering everything. Yeah, it's got it was good. That is a good it's sad and also I don't want to say epic, but the, uh, like... Action-y? It, it's got energy behind it. Yeah. It's got dread. It's sad and dreadful. Yeah. Uh, and we also notice this with the openings, is that they constantly change the openings to suit where you are in the story. Which was interesting. Which makes it interesting and fun. Yeah. Because we don't remember the first episode. Everything was happy, cheery, and it looked like a normal school. Yeah, and then uh, we changed it up to the what it actually looked like. Yep. All dismal and crap. And then the last three episodes, we changed to uh, where we know zombie Megami is a thing. Yep. But with that, though, we'll call the episode here. So thank you all very much for watching. This has been our School Live uh, review mm-hmm. and the end of our Spooktacular Month. So we'll be going to regular anime. I say in quotation, regular. Yeah. It won't be as horror themed for a while, that's for sure. Yeah. But until then, have a good one. Peace out.